Hi guys, and uh, this is Unarmed Toast, aka Mr. Anonymous, um, and I'm here to show you how to install and set up Ventrilo, and uh, how to connect to a vent server. And I'll make another video of how to host your own server later, but right now this is the first tutorial I'm doing. I'm also going to do some walkthroughs later, I'm going to start making more videos for you guys. Um, first things first. Uh, let's get down to business. You want to open your web browser, obviously. I don't even have to tell you that shit. And uh, you're gonna go to ventrilo.com. And what's gonna pop up? Let me make this bigger for you guys. What's gonna pop up is what is Ventrilo? You can read that. Ventrilo, blah blah blah. It's pretty much just a voiceover IP group communication software. Pretty much, it's like. You join servers and you chat on mics instead of type it out. Makes yeah, it easier nice. and a lot of people who play video games use it a lot. Whatever you play, that's up to you. I don't give a fuck. Um, it also has the latest news. You're going to go to download and you're going to have client programs, server programs, extra third party utilities and beta. Third party utilities is just for Linux if people are Linux users. It's for them. It's just a script. I personally, if you have Linux, just stick with TeamSpeak. It's too difficult to set up and it's a pain in the ass. You know. Um, the server programs, that's if you want to host your own server on your computer, you're going to need to download that. They have 32-bit and 64, so if you have Vista or XP, it'll work out fine. Um, and then your client, that's what you really want to go for. Uh, your 32-bit's for XP users, 64 is for Vista, and you got your Mac, and for anybody who some odd reason is running not Windows 95, because back in the day, that was a deal, but you can download that too, and they have all that. So, um... You're going to click on the, I have XP, so I'm going to click on the Windows XP. Click I agree. It's going to give you the save file. You're going to save it. Yada, yada, yada. Give it a second. Computer's being a little laggy. There we go. So there we go. You get two things right here. You're going to make a folder, however you want. doesn't matter. Um, double click this. Don't worry, it's not a virus. Scan of viruses, see, guarantee you. And you know, I'll compile right there. Just being a little laggy. Alright. Well, alright. Now, yeah, let's clear that out. You know, open it up. I'm gonna install this real quick. Now, if you guys like the background, yeah, I'm obsessed with zombies. I actually have a half sleeve tattoo. <sighs> Jesus Christ, come on. Alright, of course you're going to click Ron, blah, blah, blah. It's already installed for me, yeah. So I'm going to click No. But for you, you go on and you install it like any other installation you've ever done in your life. Everybody's installed something. If you haven't, why are you watching this video in the first place? I have no idea. Alright, so uh, you install it, set up, you're going to get this icon right here. This, this little icon. Okay, it's a fantastic icon. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to... Don't mind that. You're gonna we're gonna disconnect real quick. You'll log on and what you're gonna get is uh, a random you're gonna get a random thing. It's this is gonna be blank, user name, server, and bindings. Bindings don't worry about that, that's if you wanna fuck with people. You don't really need that. Server username and server is important. Okay, that's the most important thing, that's who you are and how you're gonna connect to people. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come on here and you're gonna make click new. I already have a name, uh, player one, so I'm gonna stick with that. I type in player one, it pop up there, and I click OK. All right, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click New. You can name the server anything you want. It doesn't matter. That isn't important. Just whatever makes you reminds you of the eventual server. You're gonna go to host name and IP. This is my vents IP, vent11.gameservers.com. And then after that, you would put in the port number, whatever that is. Usually the typical port number is 3784. So, but most of them are changed depending on who's hosting your event. Some events have passwords, some don't. Mine doesn't. It's a public event, so you really don't have to worry about that. You can connect and everything like that. You'll be made a member by one of the admins or myself. Who knows? Um, so that's it. You pretty much put that in, then you click connect. Bam. And you hear everybody talking right now. Um. And hanging out, going to different channels, whatever. And that is basically. Okay, yeah. Who's player one? That is basically it. And, uh. Yeah.
Hi, Paul Long. Damn, Mike. Uh, after all this, I hope you guys uh, join my event. I'm going to post up the event information. I hope to see you guys soon. We play all different types of games. Uh, love you all. Deuces.